Hi, in this video we will learn that how various possibilities in the CES production function can be visualized. We know that CES production function, that is the constant elasticity substitution production function, contains uh, various possibilities of production functions like Cobb-Douglas production function, Leontief production function, and production function with perfect substitute inputs. Before we go ahead, if you subscribe to the channel, it will grow and it will benefit other people as well. And if you want to receive the latest videos, you can click the bell icon as well. Now we get to the material of this video. Here the purpose is to visualize the CS production function. And we know that this thing can be understood with the uh, value of substitution parameter and the elasticity of substitution. So here it is the substitution parameter row. And based on that is the value of elasticity of substitution. So whenever we will get the value of a uh, substitution parameter, we will be able to find out the value of elasticity substitution, which will allow us to guess the nature of the production function we are dealing with. This is the same numerical example that we have done before for finding the marginal products, elasticity substitution, and optimal factor combination condition. Now here, if we compare it with the standard form, the value of rho is 11. And if I substitute 11 here, I will get the value of elasticity of substitution, which is 0 0.083 as we remember from that video. So uh, that is quite close to zero and it should give rise to um, a production function isoquant, which is adjacent with the Leontief production function. And uh, we can also say that it is between the Cobb-Douglas production function and the Leontief production function, with the caveat that it is closer to the Leontief production function. So uh, this is something we can see in the form of a graph and you can see that we have z axis, we have x axis, we have y axis. Let us assume that z axis has q in it and x has capital and y has label in it. So um, it looks like quite a square, but let us revolve it and uh, re re rotate it. And as you can see, this rotation is allowing us to understand that what sort of structure it has. Two of the sides are uh, having these uh, sharp edges and two of the sides are having no sharp edges. And this is where we should be focused, this uh, dimension, because this dimension is actually permissible because it is between x-axis and y-axis and z-axis, the positive domain, because both labor and capital and also the output are positive values. So this uh, region that is towards us should be considered for our economic interpretation. I'm keeping it on our side rotating it clockwise and anti-clockwise for your understanding and you can observe that this is uh, more similar to the um, Leontief production function. As you can see it is having this kind of edge which is going to give rise to L-shaped isoquants. So this edge is basically signifying that we are dealing with a production function which is closer to the Leontief production function. Let us uh, rotate it further. This would be the side and this would be the back side. This would be, this precisely would be the back side, the area where uh, negative values would occur. And, you know, we do not uh, allow those negative values in our economic analysis. This is the other side and the front side would be visible now. And let us stop exactly where it looks like that uh, L-shaped uh, diagram which is the isoquant of the Leontief production function. It is not precisely an L-shaped diagram, so it is closer to that, as the elasticity of substitution is 0 0.083. So now we are back into this set of uh, isoquants of CES production function. In this case, there is another uh, CES production function, and here the value of rho is 0.4, and when we use it, we find out that the production function has an elasticity of substitution equal to 0 0.714. It is close to uh, 1, so it means that it is more likely to have a shape similar to the Cobb Douglas production function. So we can visualize this in the software. Here we are, this is the diagram that it will come up with, and now we have a clockwise rotation of it. This would be one side, either left or right. This would be the back side where all the values are negative. And this would be the other side, that is the left side or right side. And this would be the front side, 
where all the values are positive, that is x, y, and z. And here we are rotating it. And here, it's, uh, approximately, it is in the middle, and we can see it is a kind of vapor which is uh, bent a little bit, and it's a kind of curve. So if we choose a certain line on it, it is going to be um, a kind of uh, isoport which is of Cobb Douglas nature. Let us rotate it a little more and let's bring it back and you will see that it has a certain way. Here uh, you can see that there is a certain tilt of this diagram towards the y-axis and uh, this is evident because of the um, greater share of y variable that is the other variable which was labeled in our example. So this is evident that it is having a greater share and its tilt is towards the uh, y variable or y-axis in this case. So this is how the uh, CES production function will look like, more towards the Cobb-Douglas having a curved short sort of shape. Now I have done a small change and that is to uh, equalize the shares. The tilt that we were talking about now should not be there because both of them are now given equal distribution parameters. Let us see. So here we are. Now we have given equal weights. Uh, let us bring it back and this is that relevant part and let's stop here. Now you can see that there is no tilt, neither towards left nor towards right. That is neither towards y nor towards x because now the weights are equal. The distribution parameters, they are equal. So we have a Cobb-Douglas like sort of uh, production function and with equal inclination uh, on both sides of uh, uh, variables, that is labor and capital. Now a further uh, twist is by uh, making the value of rho negative because when we make it negative, the negative sign of the formula will make it positive. And here again, the negative sign of this value uh, of the formula, it will make it positive. So in this case, the value of substitution parameter is minus 0.4 because of the formula has a negative sign here, here as well as here. Now you see that the diagram is uh, lifted upwards and let us rotate it and see. Now you see that um, we have a certain tilt towards the y-axis, but in addition, we have this uplifting here on, on the side of y, and that is because of this uh, 0.7, that is, it has a greater distribution parameter, so it has a tilt. Let us allow it to move further, and here you will see that we have quite a bit of tilt here, whereas there wasn't any tilt on the other side, and it is meeting some somewhat to the x-axis, but here it is above the y-axis with quite a bit of margin. So due to these uh, distribution parameters, you can see that there is a difference, and due to the negative value of uh, rho that is minus 0.4, this uplifting has taken place, and another thing that is visible is that now it is quite flat. Uh, let us rotate it a little bit. And from the side, you will see that now it is quite flat. It's not in that round shape as it was before when we had a negative value of uh, rho that was minus 0.5. Here the value is a positive value of uh, rho that was 0.4. Now it is minus 0.5 and the case has uh, changed a little bit. And now we have a kind of production function, which is um, showing quite a bit of substitution, a higher degree of substitution between labor and capital. So the uh, curve is likely to be flatter as compared to uh, the previous case. So the curves getting uh, created from this surface would be flatter and will be more towards the perfect substitute case of the inputs. Now we have uh, this case in which we have 0.5 as the value of rho the substitution parameter and let us see the diagram of it is in this way let us rotate it a little bit and you can see it is quite a bit of a curve and it's quite similar to the um, Leontief production function because it is not a flatter surface not like perfect substitutes so it is somewhere in the middle of Cobb Douglas and Leontief production function because it is having the features of both now we can experiment by making the value of rho negative. 
and when it will be negative it will turn this value that is the value of exponent positive because of the already existing minus sign in the standard form. So now we are going to experiment with minus 0.5 as the value of rho and in this case the elasticity substitution will have the value equal to 2 which is a high value and it means that there will be high degree of substitution ability. This is why the diagram of this production function should be flatter and you can see it is flatter as compared to the previous case and this is why it is somewhere in the middle of Cobb-Douglas and perfect substitute case. So you see that this is uh, having no inclination either on left hand side nor on right hand side because of the equal distribution parameters. Now we have another case which is substitutes, perfect substitutes and uh, this is how it will look like because in this case the value of rho is minus 1 and uh, minus minus uh, are turned into positive because of the minus sign which is already in the formula. Now uh, we can do this uh, depiction. So uh, in this depiction you can see now we have a flat surface and now we are watching the side of the uh, axis, uh, the Cartesian coordinate and now we are getting into that possible region. This is the side of it and this is the front of it. Here we are and here we have stopped. Towards us is the um, surface of the production function. This is the feasible or possible region because all positive values are existing in this quadrant. Let us rotate a little bit further. Now you see that this is the left side, um, you know, left or right depending upon your angle of the production surface. And now it is going to the other side and let's bring it back. And you, here you see that surface is here. So it is uh, a kind of production function with uh, perfect substitute inputs. We can substitute them effortlessly and uh, it is going to have straight lines as the isoports. As you can see, if I draw a line on the surface, it is going to be a straight line. So this is another possibility in the CES production function, depending upon the value of rho, that is the substitution parameter, and finally on the value of sigma that is the elasticity of substitution. Here we are having another glimpse of it. I hope you have enjoyed these interesting diagrams of the CES production function. Don't forget to like it. Thank you.